Today we are doing an uh, oil change. I'm going to show you all the key points, plug, filter, uh, all that stuff. But this is the model right here. This is the Jacobson Tri-King 1900D. All right. And first thing we're going to do, got our oil pan under here, is you want to come right under the front of the machine here. Turn the light on. And right there is going to be your bolt. All right. So it's pretty much parallel with your driver's side and your passenger side right underneath. All right. Now I already loosened that bolt up. So we're going to go ahead. Take that oil out of there. There we go. I'm going to let that drain and we'll uh, put the plug back in lower it down and we'll proceed to the filter now we got the machine down on the ground and opening up this hood is a pretty simple process come over here call this our passenger side pull that off there and what you want to do is just lift up on the hood push it off to the side just like that and this piece come right off of there just like that I really love the design on this machine because it puts everything right in front of you alternator starter radiators right here got your uh, oil filter right there and uh, you have another filter down here Napa filter 1365 and the filter over here is a 1259. Now, this filter is a little difficult to get off from the bottom. In fact, you can't really get it off from the bottom. So you are going to need to lower it down. Um, you're going to want to put a pan down there. This is basically going to, it's not going to drip a whole lot, but. All right, our filter. Is out of there. Drop it down in there. Let it drain out. You see it dripping down there, right on that uh, cross member there. See if I can put the light on. All right. The only thing I don't like about that design is you're dripping right down on this micro switch here, and it's getting that all covered with oil. So, mental note: put a rag there next time. Um, just so you don't have anything, any malfunctions from that. So, just gonna get the oil off of that real fast. And another good rule of thumb when you're changing oil, you know, that oil does sit on that beam. And what'll happen is, let's say this is going right out onto the turf. Well, you've already guessed it. You're gonna have a puddle up here. And if I were to send this machine right back out onto the turf, well, that oil is then going to shift once this mower starts going and the rest of it will spill off and then you guessed it, you got oil on the turf. So, just clean up all your areas that have dripped oil. And a lot of times they'll drip in places that you can't really get to to wipe it off. But when that machine starts moving, that oil will start moving and find a way to drip onto the ground. So. If you can't get in there with a rag, get an air hose, put on some goggles, and blow the oil off the, off the uh, spot that you can't get to if possible. Alright, so we got our filter back on here. <clears throat> now, to fill this up, you got to look uh, right on the top here, real easy to get to. You have your oil cap. Now, this will take about uh, one and three quarter quarts. Uh, if you had not changed the filter, if you were just draining the oil, uh, with taking the filter off, it's going to take about uh, probably two and a quarter quarts uh, to fill it up. So uh, that's it. We're going to put two and a quarter quarts in there and uh, 15W40. And that's it. And of course, as always, don't forget, guys, please hit subscribe down below. I'm trying to get the subscribers up and give me a like. And I will see you tomorrow with the next tutorial. Thanks.